Hello. Oh, hey. Shouldn't he be at school? It was desperate to see you. Well, not just him. Uh, Kyle, why don't you go in there and see if you can find one of your old colouring books? Good boy. I've missed you. Keen. But I have to say this, right? I know you want space. But it's killing me, this. I want us back as a family. No. Kane, there's no us. At Christmas, I made a mistake. We didn't. I was all over the place. I'm still grieving. That's what that night was. No. That was you turning to me. It was just sex. Just physical, something to cope. I'm sorry if you thought it was more. It was. You know it was. I needed comfort with you, anyone. You're my wife. I was your wife when you went off with charity. When you knocked on my door and told me you were leaving with her, I hadn't even buried my daughter. Yeah, but I came back for you. Because I love you. Do you think this is love? You wreck my life, throw me aside, then you, you drag your kids here, use them as a pawn to get to me. I mean, don't you get it? Leave me alone. You don't mean that. Don't tell me what I mean. Now, I do need space. Not for two weeks. For good. For the last time, I want you out of my life. Kyle. Come on, mate. Uh. <sighs> if you're ready for the party, you're a bit early. Who? Huh? Charity's birthday. Oh. Well, I'm sure she won't mind me skipping. Uh, I'm looking for Keane. He's not in the garage. Everything OK? I'm not sure. He's not said anything. This is Keane we're talking about. Well, we had a bit of a row yesterday. And now Lisa wants me to have a word about letting Kerry see Kyle. That'll go down well. Do you want me to call him? Thanks, but there's no point both of us getting sucked in. Enjoy the party. Just put your shoes on, there's a good lad. Don't want to. The quicker we get there, the quicker we'll get back. Shoes, you know what you're doing now. Put them on and don't be soft. You little... What's going on? Oh, I need to get out. Hi. Been trying to find you. I don't need any more grief. I wanted to apologise for yesterday. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. And you were right. We do need to talk. About us. About Kyle. I don't want to hear it, OK? Hey, what the hell are you doing? You're better off without me. So is he. What's all this about? Leave it. You're his dad. So whatever's gone on, he's not better off without you. You don't know anything. So tell me. He needs you. It's all made done. So I don't think he needs me. Talk to him. 
tell him that it was a bad thing to do and he shouldn't have had to see it, but don't abandon him. I mean it, Kane. It's time you took some responsibility. And then today... I almost hit him. He looked terrified. The way I must have looked. <laughs> some flaming childhood is gonna happen me, innit, eh? You're a long way off being Shadrach, if that's what you're worried about. Kyle, he's already lost most of his family, and now Johnny's in prison. You can't give up on him. You should try really losing a child. I'm sorry. It's Kyle that needs to hear that. Wait. Will you help me? Talk to him, I mean. I don't know where to start. Then you need to figure it out. What we had... It's gone. This has to be about you and Kyle. Hi. I should have come and seen you sooner, sorry. Oh, well, but your dad will let you out of the sight. Oh, tell me about it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and you? Well, you must be, what, ten foot taller? You glad to be back? Yeah, it's really good. I miss everyone loud. Oh, we've missed you too. Can I go play in the barn? Yeah, of course you can. Be careful. How is she? Stoical. Is that a word? She said she doesn't like Jack seeing her sad. I heard about Holly. I was going to call you. I, I should have called you. Must have been awful. Still is. Hi. Thanks for letting him stay. No problem. Uh, I was going to make a start on some lunch if you're interested. Yeah, listen, I won't see you at pocket. Well, I think I can run to a couple of cheese and ham sandwiches. Oh, you know what I mean. I pay my way. Well, I will as soon as I find some work. We could help each other then. Because the one thing I really need around here is an extra pair of hands. Um. I'm not exactly an experienced farm hand. No, but you're an experienced mechanic. Trust me. Stuff's always breaking down around here. <laughs> It'd be a proper paid job. What do you say? Yeah, go on then. I've got a deal. Excuse me. We're looking for Debbie Dingle. Why are you not going to mind her then? Chap at the garage pointed us in this direction. Said her dad was helping her to move in. Is that not correct? What do you want? We've recovered CCTV footage showing someone matching your description with a stolen car involved in a hit-and-run incident. What stolen car? It's nothing to do with Debbie, for sure. We have reason to think otherwise. Well, I don't know anything about it. Well, if you don't mind, we've got some more questions back at the station. Oh, yeah, nice one. I'm parched. You can't just barge in here. I haven't got time to stand on ceremony, thank you. I need to have a word with you. Haven't you got some muck to be spreading? Mum! Don't mind me. I'd much rather be in the company of the cows out there than the one in here. Oh, I've heard her. Where does she get off? It's her house! Oh, you know what? She's done us a really big favour letting us stay here. So how about you don't screw that up like you screw everything else up? Please don't. No. Do you know her? Yeah, we've met once or twice. <laughs> Hello, Mother. You can keep it. I haven't said anything. What's this? And you? All this pity for Ashley when your own mother was in hospital yesterday. Moira, no one asked you for your opinion. Well, not totally, Harley. I bunged her a few quid for the B and B. Oh, big deal. She gave her last penny for Sarah's treatment. Wait for the catch, because th there will be a catch. Would you really see her out in the street? There's no concern of mine. She can stay with us until she's better. One day you'll thank me. I will not. My room's on the ground floor. She can have that. Amazing. Say something. 
He won't, because he knows she's vulnerable, and sometimes vulnerable people can go just like that. Can't they, Kane? You can't argue with that, can you? Right, Aaron, watch the bar for me, will you? Because I'm going in the back room to scream into a pillow. Sarah, let us go. Go on, just do it. Push it. Faker. Sarah should be inside in the warm. Kane, he should know better. He's just enjoying having a bit of fun. Faith is trying to get round folk and she's using a sick kid to do it. She's not nearly as vile as I thought she'd be. But she's no saint, so I'll be keeping an eye on her, don't worry. Gives a push back to the car. Yeah, under one, maybe. That woman is sex on a stick. What are you doing wasting your time with charity when you got steak at home? Should be on your knees begging Moira to take you back. I could have a word. I've got her here now. Just stay out of it. How could you let him just take him? Hey, don't we have a go at her? It's your mother's fault for sticking the belly. She's no mother of mine. Well, look, are you going to help her get him back or not? Ooh, look what Granny's done. Who can these be for? What are you doing? Uh, I've got a bit of a problem. Is it Kyle? No, 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 he's good. I've got a car needs servicing. Well, I told you I work here now. Well, it won't take long. Look, I'm really snowed under and Dan's on a call out. Well, if you're short staffed, you'll have to ring Ross. Why would I want to do that? Oh, come on, you know it's how it works. We sack him, we let him stew, we take him back. That's what we do. Why are you suddenly fighting his corner? Because he was really good about Sarah, all right? Even started up the chop shop again. Here? Why'd you let him do that? I don't have to explain myself to you. Why'd you have to kick off about everything? He did it because he was trying to help us get some cash. No, he did it because he's trying to get his claws back into you. Well, that's never going to happen. Oh, are you sure about that? My daughter's seriously ill. Copping off is quite low down on my list of priorities right now. Good. No, I'll tell you what'll be good. You trusting me just enough not to sack your best mechanic for being a mate. She's got a lot on her plate at the moment. I know that. Then maybe, rather than begging favours, you should think about how you can help her. You want serving or what? I'm please. Right. Well, at least this keeps her out of the way. She can't do any less than she was doing up at the farm. Oh! Um... Ah, uh, apparently she works here now, but you can't complain, cos we need the help. You're a builder, right? Yeah. So what do you think of this place? How do you mean? Well, let's face it, it's a bit worn down, isn't it? Dowdy. Really could do with a complete refit. I don't know, here and there, maybe. Uh, tell you what. I'll get you a drink, and you give me an idea of what you think needs doing. You know, roughly. <laughs> Victoria! Give this man a free pint on the house, please. Marlon. That is like the ninth free pint she's given away. Can you have a word? Not my problem. OK. As long as you don't mind telling Chaz why she went bankrupt when she gets back. Oh, go easy on her for now. She's all trying to do right by her kids. Well, no-one asked her to. Kim. <sighs> Fine. Chaz won't thank me, though. See? <laughs> This business with herbs and courgettes. I want you to have a complete rethink and put some proper food on the menu. Okay, so just to confirm, you're you're objecting to flavour and vegetables that sound funny. You got a problem with that, Sunbeam? No, no, no. I'm just checking. That's all. So not so much helping out as taking charge, is it? No. Oh. Ask me what? Well, Faith wants to have a psychic night. She wants to pay for a holiday for Sarah. Reading people's palms? It's a little bit more than that. But just for the record, I said it was a really, really bad idea. Well, if people want to believe in that sort of nonsense, that's their lookout. So long as I don't have to be there. Hmm. And you don't dig up Shadrach. <laughs> Give me some credit. So you don't mind, then? 
But it doesn't look like I've got a choice. The next time you try and pull a fast one, it's you they'll be raising from the dead. Off to get your costume. I'm sorry. Emma told me about your mum's psychic night. Whose ghost will you be appearing as? Have you been at the altar wine again? Oh, come on, don't tell me she hasn't roped you into it. You could always go as Val. I could see you in a fur coat and high heels. Really? Well, whatever little fancy is turning you on. I really don't care what Mother's getting up to right now. So it doesn't bother you that she's taking advantage of people when they're vulnerable? Not like you do, you mean? <laughs> I offer them peace and hope, or at least I try to. Well, so does she. Difference is, I don't charge for it. Well, more for you. Ah, oh, I forgot. Kane Dingle doesn't do conscience. You really don't know anything about me. I know these are real people that your mum's messing with. Real people with real feelings. And what about my granddaughter, eh? She's lying in some hospital bed in the back of beyond. Only I don't see you doing anything to help her. Or isn't she real enough for you? If you ask me, this. All right. Hi. I just said bye to Sarah. She told me to give you a big hug. All right. Hey, come on. Everything's going all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I just, you know, I can't wait to get home. I wanted to have the op. Well, um, maybe this will help will take mind off things in the meantime. Don't worry, as far as alibis go, mine's more than solid. Well, don't you need it to put towards a flat? I spend it on Sarah. Spoiler rotten, eh? Oh, did Harriet find you this morning? Harriet? Yeah. She seemed very keen to get hold of you. What does she want? Don't tell me you're going to confess your sins. <laughs> As if. He's more likely to be joining the choir. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's going to happen, eh? See you later. You're unbelievable. Interview about Holly, how is it? Yeah, it's all right, I think. Painful. It's horrible to see it put so bluntly in black and white. It mentions the NE meetings a few times, so hopefully it'll help someone else's Holly. It's a tough read. It would have been even tougher to do, eh? Yeah, well, it needed to be done. Oh, Jay, have you seen this? Yeah, have a read. Give me two minutes, I can make things right. You can't. Well, I can if you let me. I can fix it. Like the bus. Sounds like it needs ditching completely. Yeah, Maura's right. You can't fix it. Well, if there's a way to get it running, Kane will find it. Why don't you let him fiddle with your engine for a wee bit? What have you got to lose? See you later. All right, kid. Hi. In the meantime, you keep yourself wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. I'll speak to you later, OK? I love you. Love you too. Bye. See ya. Bye. How is she? Putting on a brave face. <laughs> I actually think she's all better now. The proton therapy shrunk the tumour, but you no, know, she still needs to have the operation to remove it. Mm. When is that operation? A couple of weeks, hopefully. And then she needs to take things easy, so I'll need to take some time off work. Of course. I just need to find another willing pair of hands. Uh. Standing right here. Someone who I don't mind littering my kitchen. Oh, when are you two ever going to sort yourselves out? Hey, it's already sorted as far as I'm concerned. Actually, I think I might have already found a temporary cover for you. Oh? Faith? My mum. Good luck with persuading her off her backside. <laughs> She's been slaving away all morning. Has she? Yeah. Miracles do happen then. You don't know the first thing about Faith. Oh, what she's been going through. What sob story is she giving you now, eh? I can't say. Can't say what? Maybe you should give Chaz a ring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I stink a cow muck. <laughs>
There'll be plenty of hot water. What's up with you lot? You tell us. I'm really sorry. What did I tell you? It didn't come from me, I swear. I phoned Chaz. Why didn't you say anything? Because it's over and done with. Mom. Kane, relax. I'm not expecting you to be bothered. Everything's fine. End of story. I can't believe you kept this from me. I only found out myself a couple of days ago. Oh, a couple of days? Well, you should have stopped bickering. It's Faith we need to worry about. Well, you heard her. She doesn't want us to be bothered. You sure? <laughs> How is she? Oh, are you not on a blimmin' rotor or what? There's your answer. Excuse me. Better not be here to talk. Not unless you want to. I don't. I didn't come back for sympathy. Don't start thinking that. Fair enough. Were you putting the kettle on or what? What suit me? Not any more from Chaz? Yeah, um, Sandra's still in intensive care. So I suppose she'll be in Mauritius for a while then. You didn't up so early. I've just been, uh, been knocking off the local vicar. <laughs> Good one, <luck>, Lee. <laughs> Sorry. Is that your idea of being discreet? No, I was joking, didn't he? What's really going on with you and Harriet? <sighs> We're having an affair. We can't keep our hands off each other. Seriously? Dad, she could have had you locked up. She changed her statement. But why? Does not matter? Well, I don't know how you managed to work it, but I might not be so lucky next time. <clears throat> Just a cup of tea, then. Please. So what's your excuse this time? Huh? Last night, you coming round for tea? Debs and the kids were really looking forward to seeing you. Uh, so uh, something came up. What was it this time? Knock off Barbie dolls? Faulty ignition. Hmm. And pigs will fly. How should I know? Oh. Come on, I don't want to look out of place. Which one says country gent? Well, Faith's gone Phil Tweed, so I'd say that one. Right. Oh, are you and her and... We are just good friends who are clay pigeon shooting together. What about you, please? Sounds too much like exercise for Faith. And there's a free bar. Oh. Cheers, Mara. See ya. See you later. Bye. <laughs> oh. Getting something nice for Harriet's return. Leave it out, will you? Well, they're pulling your leg. But you should do. She has been through a lot. It'll be somewhere tropical where the babes are irresistible, mate. They resist you. You going to see your mum? Uh, yeah, uh, me and Robert are. Yeah. Oops, it leaves me to cope just like that. It's a cheap deal. Oh, good for you. Listen, I can help out of the yard if you like. What, you? No, it's, it's fine. I think Pete's looking for some extra work, so. Very grateful. Oh, suddenly got very cold in here. What have you done to upset Harriet? None of your business. Keen, she's a good woman. I hope you're not just in it to mess with her head. <sighs> Forget the coffee and the lecture. Hello again. I wasn't sticking my nose in. You did a pretty good impression of it. Well, I'd like to help. You could try apologising to her. How do you know it's me that's at fault? Right, stop being weird. We're exes and I, I don't get involved in your life. It's because I don't have one. Much. Anyway, I'm glad you're finally over us. Didn't have much choice, did I? Harriet, what can I get for you? Actually, I forgot my purse. I can always stick it on a tab if you want. I'd rather not. Right, you ready? Uh, you go up. Mum, he's with Harriet. Adam. <sighs> he's got a point. What? Just having a drink like friends do. Oh, well, mate, so are we? 
Why not? Unless you think I have a problem with you and Harriet. But believe it or not, I hope it works out. I want it to. There's no point in both of us being sad and alone. You're not sad and alone. A bit. Actually, quite a lot. But I can live with that for an easier life. One day. Oh, please. If this is that one day you'll meet someone, chat. What if I don't want to meet anyone? OK, friend. What do I do? Harriet thinks she's sold the soul to the devil. No, I did once. Tell her that it might turn out to be more fun than she ever imagined. And the rest. OK, so she needs to accept that you're not a saint? Well, yeah, I think she's worked that one out. But you're not Al Capone either, so a bit of perspective might be needed. So what do I do? You need to admit when you're wrong. What, me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you know, you're almost passable when you smile. Try flowers. Flowers always work. Oh, you found your purse? Oh, yeah, it was in my bag all along. Uh, senior moment. <laughs> oh, I have them all the time, and I'm only 23. A pint, please. So, it... <clears throat> All right. That depends. On? If that's a gun behind your back. Why me? Apparently, um, sometimes I'm wrong. <laughs> so what are you going to do about it? Well, I thought maybe if I talk less, you'd like me more. <laughs> How would we pass the time? Your place or mine? Yours. After I finish my pint. Correct. Hmm. Ebbs! Can you give me a hand, please? Oh, it's you. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to mend this stupid thing, only it's fighting back. Well, can you do something, please? Uh, yeah, 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 I'll just stick the kettle on. Kane. I'm joking. Chill out. <sighs> Oof. Oof. Where'd you keep your scissors? Yeah. OK. One, two, three. <sighs> oh. oh, thank you. <sighs> you might be a bit sore there for a while. Well, my pride's taking a bashing of nothing else. Yeah, that's supposed to be a super swanky labour-saving device that was going to revolutionise my life. All it's done is given me grief and aggro for months. <sighs> so... Funny how things turn out, eh? I'll be like one of those crazy hoarder ladies soon. Rammed out with boxes full of tat that I've only bought because I'm bored and lonely. You'd be desperate for a bit of peace and quiet with my lot here. Yeah, well, it turns out you can still be lonely with eyes full of people. Who knew? Let's have a look. Hmm. What was that? I don't know. I, I... I just thought... I wasn't thinking. Hey, what's this about you saving Moira from a waste disposal unit? <laughs> what? Mm, sounds quite bad, actually. She got her hair stuck while she was trying to fix it. Ouch. But luckily, Dad came to the rescue. Well, you know me. Give, 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 eh? You'll be going for your brownie friendship badge next, won't you? 
You know, you're not going, are you? Quiet practice. Uh, I'll see you over there. You have your hot toddy. Yes, right. Sorry about that before something came up. You know. I know, I heard. So I'll, I'll call you tonight, yeah? Sure. Or I'll call you. Let's just see how we feel. Oi! Oi! Well? Look, I don't want to talk about it. What were you playing at? I don't know. It, it, it was a moment of madness. Let's just never talk about it again. You're trying to mess with my head because you can see I'm trying to move on. No! You made it crystal clear that what we'd done, that, that, that there was no going back, that you didn't love me anymore. Do you really think I'd be this angry if I didn't still love you? Are you really that dense? <sighs> what is it? Are you still mad about me skipping lunch? Is that all I have to be mardy about? <laughs> I don't do games. Don't you? Really? Kim. What? I think we should... Can we talk? About? Us. Right, so there's an us. The back room's free. Here's fine. Dad. Yesterday was a surprise. And? It was a mistake. Well, you already said that. Just before you said that you... that you still love me. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have said that. I was just trying to justify why I kissed you. So no love. No. <laughs> then why do any of it? What, to see if you could? See if I'd still come running? No, no. Because I'm done with that. Good. Because we are never going back there. I know. Done. And I, I feel guilty for wanting to let go, but we have to accept that they're gone. Get used to the new normal. Yeah. Call your phone company tomorrow and tell them you need a new mobile with a new number. Then that weirdo can't call you either. And if she ever shows a face round here again, you just make sure she stays away from Moira. I'll be back in a sec. She wasn't well. Needed help, and what did I do? Made sure she didn't see me. It's my idea. Oh, this is on me, all of it. You want to know that she's going to stop off here and nick a baby? And poor thing. I thought she was harmless. I told people she was harmless. He's not even a day old. What if... But she's a nut job. There's nothing we could have done would have stopped that. Yeah, but... And I'll tell you what, if I ever see her again, I'll help. I stove in the red in. You see my mum? In hospital. Discharge yourself. She bled half to death. Yeah, well, she woke up and went looking for my new brother, didn't she? Oh, nephew, don't know which one it is. Fruit Loop still got him. Dumped him in the church. Is he all right? Still waiting to find out. He's supposed to be taking my mum back. They told her to stop here, but she's gone. What are you doing here? I wanted to see for myself. You 
You didn't fire that gun, did you? No. And they won't make it stick either. They didn't even charge me. OK, it was her. It was Emma, I know it was. And I know she tried to hurt me, Mum. Kane, I'm telling you, you should have seen her. She's lost it big time. And the way she ran off, guilty as hell. You think she set the fire? Yeah. And put it past her. They found the baby, but what about Emma? Listen, I've got to go. You coming? I'll catch you up. Did you get out? Come here, some help here, please! Oh, take that. Uh, uh, Maura Dingle, uh, she had a down. baby yesterday and discharged herself. She almost passed out in the back of my car. Hey, you okay? Stop fussing. Right. If she's telling you where to go, that's a good sign. We'll get her checked out. Hi. Hi. Um, I saw her packed up. She must have had a faint and pulled over or something. We're just waiting for news on the baby. I saw your text. Good job we didn't get away now, eh? What am I thinking about? He could have been there all night. He did good. Adam, they've just taken your mum back in. Seriously? Yeah, she was all right. I found her. Best place for her now, eh? Oh, man, I've been looking everywhere for her. Jay's Kane. I'm exhausted. I'm going to head back. What? You don't have to. Right, OK, I'll, uh I might hang around and wait for the old clear. Go, son. Mum, don't you dare worry about me, all right? Better warning would have been nice, little man. Told you. She didn't feel him. The doctor explained it all. Yeah, I wasn't looking after myself properly, was I? Felt rough and tired for months. Just didn't think for a second it was him. So, am I going to get a cuddle then, or what? Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, oh, wow. Come here. Hello, little bro. How are you, mate? Oh. Hey. Oh. Think of a better time. Hey, talk to her like that again. I'll say what I want, mate. All right, stop. Please, just stop. I think I might have dropped my keys. Won't be long. I... We're knocking at yours. Uh, I needed to walk, a bit of peace and quiet. I'd have called you, but I thought you might have been at the hospital till late. Oh, I've left about an hour after you. Right. Okay, uh, I need a shower. How are those lads going to get their heads around this? Right, best get up to the hospital, check on Mara. All right. Well, it's not like she's got anybody else with our Debbie gone here, well. Sure, OK. I just thought Faith said she was going to stay with her and Adam's been released. So. Right, and your point being? Oh, your mummy. Suffice to say, it wasn't my only drunken mistake. But you know that Pete's the dad, right? All right. Hi. Three visitors and I haven't even had the chance to bin my breakfast yet. Wow. Four, actually. DS Benton was at the desk when we arrived. Ah, oh, then I'll I'll leave you to it. Okay, bye. Mrs. Dingle. I wondered if now was a good time to ask about your exchange with Emma Barton the night of the fire. If you have to, I suppose. Maybe we should wait outside till they've done. Hmm? I'm not going anywhere. So go on then. Ask your questions. Confessing to causing the death of James Barton. Before she nearly let me burn to death. But then she helped you out of the barn and helped to deliver your baby. After I said the baby was her grandchild, yes. Anything else you remember? I told you I was either 
woozy or in shock for the most part. Mrs. Dingle, it's important we get a handle on Mrs. Barton's mindset before she left you. Swinging from wildly crazy, little Miss Midwife. OK, we'll leave it there for now, then. Thank you. And congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Something up. I don't know for sure if you're the father. What are you talking about? Your mum. She was going to hurt me, Pete. I had to grab any lifeline that I could. So I told her the baby was yours. I'm sorry. There's probably no price for guessing who he really is. I'm not saying he definitely isn't yours, but I just don't know. Well, of course he isn't. Life doesn't work out like that, does it? Well, not for me anyway. I spoke to the doctor and he said they can arrange a paternity test if we want to have one. Yeah. And a nice afternoon. Half Finn and joking. It must be great being UK. What's he going on about? UK, Pete? Not really, no. Well, the kid's probably not mine. Turns out I was never properly in the running. He is, though. <laughs> you would have left the sauce, mate. Well, you slept with Maura about nine months ago, right? Mate, she's all but admitted that he's yours. You know what, your mouth? Yeah, calm down, Kane. Ah, what's up? Scared you'll make a lousy father like you did with Debbie and Kyle. Is it more the fact you'll never get Maura out of your system again? Kane. You can't just walk away from this. Kane! Kane, not around. No? Why would he be? Well, he's, uh, he's heard he could be the father. Well, tell him that changes nothing. You must be relieved that the police have cleared you. Yeah, yeah, I am. I don't think so. No matter what happens with the paternity test. You having a test done? Well, Pete needs to know for sure. we get the results today. But I don't think it'll make any difference to Kane. Maybe you're underestimating him. He won't want to have anything to do with this baby. That's fine by me. It's not through yet. Yeah, and you should see. This is not the time to be pushing her about it. But you told my mum it was my baby. And if it is, I have the right to be part of his life. Well, we'll find out soon enough. They promised me that they would send them over today. All oh, right. This is cosy. So now, uh, amongst yourselves. We're waiting for the results of the paternity test, all right? I thought your mum put more of him. I'm surprised you even shown your face. Well, here you are. Are those the results? Yes, Mrs. Dingle. But we can ask your guest to leave if you'd rather open them in private. It's OK. Thanks. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything until I was certain. I'm really sorry I misled you. Come on. You never really thought it was mine. If I hadn't have said it to your mum, she would have let me die. Please, Pete, I didn't want to hurt you like this. You should have just been honest with me. Well, I honestly didn't know who the father was for sure. So, if Pete isn't the father, it must be you. I didn't give a DNA sample. There were only two people it could have been. That's your baby. What are you going to do about it? Harry, I've already told you. This changes nothing. There you go, then. What? Surely you're going to be there for your son? We don't need him in our lives. And that's fine with me. This changes everything. I don't think so. Your 
only behaving like this because you still care about Moira and you can't get your head around where this baby leaves you. I don't need analysing, thanks. So stop trying to kid yourself about your real feelings. I'm just asking you to be honest, Kane. Moira said she doesn't want anything to do with me anymore and I'm fine with that. So what difference does it make to you? Whatever you say now, I know in the end you're going to be drawn back to Moira and your baby because that's where your heart is. The longer it takes for you to face up to that, the more it's going to hurt both of us, so... Just put me out of my misery. Right. She's a vicar. Huh? Filled with compassion and all that. If anyone can understand, it's her. Except she still thinks I'm in love with Moira. Oh, I see. Are you? Oh, what now, then? What do you think? Well, knowing you, you'll probably let it fester. Yeah, and then you'll start shutting folk out. And then you'll brood on it until you go pop. Well, it works for me. Oh, you could do something about it. Instead of making everyone else's life a misery. <sighs> Maura's made it quite clear she don't want anything to do with me. Since when did you ever let that stand in your way? He's dead. You're down there. When it was me. It was me that she wanted to put a bullet through. You need to pull it together fast. Can you just give me some time with Finn? We need to get you sorted before the police come looking. For me, why would they? Because they reckon Emma was murdered. By who? I was wondering whether you could tell me that. Because? Because you, you chased her into the woods with a gun. Yeah, I was never going to hurt her. Oh, so the gun was for protection, was it, from little Emma? she just killed her own son and ex-husband. She could have done the same to Mum and the baby. That's him, right there. The bloke who could have done this, so come on, did you? No! Prove it, can you? What? The police are going to be asking you far worse questions. So come on, where were you after I saw you at the farm? The same place you were, the hospital. I wanted us to go together. But now, now you insisted on going separate. Is that why? Eh? Is that why you went after Emma? If they're looking at me, you can be sure as hell they're going to be looking at you too. Yeah. Probably. OK. We could both be on the hook here. Yeah. But only one of us has served time for trying to kill someone. Has Moira named the baby yet? And what about calling it Fred? Little Fred Dingle with a flat cap. Bye. Well, you're going to regret that when she calls him Gerald. Unless the bawling bundle of evidence is right under your nose. Oh, he's gorgeous. Thank you. Oh. Hey, how are you doing? Amazingly. Can I hold him? Oh, well, he's just settled, sorry. But yeah. And he certainly didn't like the coppers coming round earlier. What did the police want? Blood, you'd think, by the way they were going at her. <laughs> Where were you? What time? Who with? I mean, her baby brain is shot. <laughs> but old Columbo was adamant she'll plug the gaps. You know, you should ask her. You might remember something she doesn't. I'm busy. He does care. I don't. Kids are not one of us brought up by you. I live with Kyle. I do stuff with him. When it suits you. When's his birthday? My birthday, then. <laughs> right, you turn up here after a few weeks. What exactly do you want these kids to think about you when they grow up? It's all been out of my control. I, I didn't even know about you. Kyle was always Johnny's. And yes, yeah, I did fight for him. And this one, I, I didn't even know it was mine. What, for like a day? Oh, I bet you loved playing the wronged man, didn't you? Maury doesn't want me. How hard have you tried? There's been other stuff going on, like, like questions from the police. Oh, come on. You can't be the only one that they're questioning. You think you're always right, you, don't you? Oh, well, look, someone who actually wants to talk to you. Who you've already now? Don't change the subject. This is your perfect opportunity to work things out in Moira. I just cannot understand why you wouldn't choose to be happy. What like you are, you mean? Moving from one loser to the next. I mean, at least Pete was a steady loser. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. 
Sorry I'm disturbing you. Cuffer, will you, before I do? I'll have to forego that pleasure for now, Mr Dingle. It's you I'm after. We've had a witness say they heard you threaten to kill Emma Barton on the day she died. What witness? No, I'm glad you came. Finally, she's sticking up for me for a change. Could we do this sensibly? What sensibly fit somebody up, you mean? No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Come on. At Mr Dingle. I prefer you with me. All right, the full treatment. Don't miss me too much. You know he's been taken in for questioning. I think his alibi's a bit vague. Well, the thing is, you see, he was with me, I think. Vic, you remember when you rang me to tell me the baby had been found? Yeah. Do you still have that phone call on your history? Well, I rarely delete. Adam goes bonkers, so I can always pin him down on what he texted months ago. So it should be somewhere. You didn't have to finish with him. Sorry. Where Keane was at the time Emma was killed. Pretty much. Look, I haven't slept for days, pal. Now, are you going to speak to me properly, or are we just going to play games? I take it he's still here. Right. Well, let's get this over with. We only have a tiny window before he starts screaming again. Oh, he takes after his dad, then. You don't know me well enough to say that. Sorry. So? You need to look at Victoria Barton's phone history. And is this a family member of yours? Daughter-in-law. No relation to Kane. So what's she got to do with this? Her phone is what you might call an independent witness in all of this. It's recorded the time she rang me to say that the baby had been found. OK. Well, Kane was with me just after I took that call. I'd walked straight out into the yard to get into my car just as he was arriving to see me. I knew about Finn by then. How could she do that? OK, Moira, just try and be clear. Sorry. Kane tried to comfort me and he made me a cup of tea. And after a while, he took me back to the hospital so that I could be with the baby. He never left my side. Kane's never mentioned any of this. Well, like I said, he was with me just after I took the call. Look, I know I should have said something sooner. But I haven't dwelled much on that day. I really thought I was going to die. Uh, OK, Moira, OK. Look, do you need a lift back? No. Just speak to Victoria yourself. Oh, thank you. Do you know what the perfect name for this baby would be? Steve. You read my mind. It's the only name you seem to know. Name another name without thinking. Lydia. A man. Sam. Someone you're not engaged to. Zach. Someone you're not living with. Steve. I'm back again. You see, you drove from a very small well. Oh, I do hope they've beaten him up. Not even when I ask nicely. <laughs> oh, there's Keane. Another dirty burger with Tom, perhaps. Tom's a lovely name. Oh, we're doing baby names. So who's this Tom? You know what? An hour I've been setting traffic with him. Not even a thanks. You're off the hook, then? Well, I was never on the hook. Were you at the police station? Yeah. Vic's phone has a record on it of the time she phoned me to tell me the baby had been found. Yeah, I'm going to go in tomorrow and speak to them. You owe me. And I remember just after that you arrived at the farm and you were with me until we went to the hospital. Right. Thanks. Did they say I was there? Well, they didn't have to. I could hear the crying. Dad. I'm just saying it like it was. I don't know what you were saying. Excuse me. Can I get a drink or what? Where would you like it? A meeting. She says it's about the house. Uh, go in inside and get you some sweets, please, and then get yourself to Holiday Club. So what's, uh, what's really going on? We should be asking Moira that one. Huh? Social services were up at ours this morning. What for? <laughs> it's your kid and you don't even know. Moira doesn't want anything to do with me. Well, she reckons it's something or nothing, but if I was you, I'd get yourself up there. That's for Moira to explain. 
You want to take the kid away? No. Look, she'd kill me for telling you this, but the girl's not coping. Unless she asks me to walk through that door, which she won't, I, I, I can't do anything. You're not a blimmin' vampire, Kate and Dingle. You're that lad's father. You don't need permission. <sighs> Look, you've... You've let her down before, when she lost Holly. So just don't let her down again. There's only so many times you can tell me to get stuffed. You love the bones of her. I'm your mother. I know what's going on in there. You know it, she knows it, and she needs you, son. So get up there and fight for your woman before you lose her for good. Kane. What are you doing here? Pass us a white, will you? He's uh, just chucked up on us before he dropped off. I left him with Faith. Yes, yeah, she's just nipped out. He was sound asleep. I just needed a bath. Well, it's fine with me. Get back in if you want. Give yourself a break. <laughs> well, thanks. Come in. Listen, now. I should have been here from the start. I want to be part of his life. And yours. He needs his dad. Because his mother's not fit to be left alone with him, is that it? What did social services want? I would never hurt my son. Never. Oh, he's my son too. Only my name. All you did was donate the sperm. Tell me why social services were here. He has got nothing to do with you, and neither has he. We've managed fine on our own. Of course you have. <laughs> Just get out. Oh, he's lost a sock. You can't even hold him without messing it up. Look, I've let you down before. That is all you've ever done. You're a spineless, gutless waste of space. Maybe, but I'm a spineless, gutless waste of space who wants to make things right. Look, I've, I've let you struggle for too long. I'm sorry. You don't have to do this on your own, not anymore. I don't need you. And I don't want you. Well, I might have bought that if you hadn't had lied to the police about the day that Emma got murdered. Well, you wouldn't have given me an alibi if you didn't care, would you? So I didn't tell the truth to the police. Only you could read something into that. Well, you, you covered for me. Well, I didn't kill Emma, so you, you didn't need to do that. Well, anything could have happened. And Sarah has been through enough upset. She doesn't need her granddad in prison. You could have let me get banged up just like that. I would have been out of your life for good. More fool me, eh? What a lost opportunity. You don't mean that. And you don't listen, do you? I'll let you down. Oh, you ever do. But I'm, I'm stepping up now. Oh. Poor Harriet has gone to all the trouble of dumping you for nothing. Poor cow. Well, she can have you back. I don't want you. She knew it was never going to work. Underneath. It's always been you. Of course it's always been me. Oh, until my daughter died or I had your baby. And then I couldn't see you for dust. I promise you, all my life, I will never let you down again. Too little, too late. There's never been anybody else in here. I love you, Moira. And I hate you, Kane. I don't want you, and I don't need you. So just get out of here and stay out and don't you ever come near me or my baby again.
Oh, so good to see you. Oh, oh how are you? Tired, you know how it is. <laughs> but Adam insisted he and Vic babysit tonight. Madam's idea, apparently. Too right. Be good for you to get out. Go on, you sit down. I'll get the drinks in. So, why are you sitting here on your own? Why don't you go over and say hello to Chad? You haven't seen her for ages. Whiskey. You can leave the bottle. It's your daughter's birthday and your sister's homecoming. So either join in or jog off. There'll be other houses. Better houses. Why don't we just rent it? Oh, it's complicated. Well, if it's a buy to let anyway, then that makes sense, surely. Why don't you go and get your head down in the back room if you're tired? I miss your birthday. No way. What's up? Oh, I think I upset Paddy earlier. I didn't mean to, but I did. I and mean, while well, he's a mate, isn't he? And I've, I've missed him. Hmm? You know that thing that you were saying about wasting time? Well, don't. I can cover for you here. Yeah? Thank you. You're a star. Need to close up early tonight. Um, you, could, you, you could always take the whiskey home with you. <sighs> yeah, like I've got home to go to. Will you stop feeling sorry for yourself? You know, you've got a beautiful daughter, a gorgeous little son, and a brand new, perfectly healthy little baby boy. Yet you're sat in here drinking like a loser. Kane, put him down! Get off me! You're coming straight home with me. Oh, yeah, Maura would love that, wouldn't she, well, eh? If she knows that you are only drinking because you're trying to hide your feelings about her and that baby. Don't you start being a mother now you're not qualified. I will qualify you in a minute now. Come on, come You want me to give you a slapping? Get up. What is it, Eliza? No, no, she's, um, she's asleep. Layla's looking after her. Look, there's this support group tomorrow where parents and kids going through what we're going through with Eliza can meet up. It'll be fun for her. And we might learn something. Do you want to come? Oh, sorry. Thought you'd gone. Grandad's taken all the kids back to theirs for a sleepover. Still no idea where your mum is yet. Oh, no. I mean, I would ring her, but I can't find my phone anyway. I'm starting to think she might have taken it with her by mistake. Well, I wasn't going to let you clear up after your own birthday party. We, um, we had words. Oh. Long story. Come on. Let's take the weight off, then. This bloke that I've been seeing. Well, more off than on. Anyway, it's over. But he's got money and he's generous. And she wants me to rinse him, shall we say. Well, that's her way, not yours. Who needs men, anyway? It's not all about need. Sometimes it's about a wanting. And do you still want my dad? Let me get you a drink. And your mum can clear this law when she finally rolls in. Oh, and you really are nothing like her, you know. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Why am I here? As in, why was I born? Or why does my gob feel like a rat died in it? I just thought you'd be better off in here than lying face down in a pigsty. Does, uh, does Myra know I'm here? Yeah. And Debbie, who's told Dan to open the garage, so you might as well stick around and give old Cranky Pants a feed. I don't think so. Oh, I do. Well, the more you practice this being a family thing, the easier it's going to get. And Moira was fine when she saw you earlier, despite you drooling on her cushion. What did she say? That it's time you were going now. 
bus getting his birth registered. Of course, uh, you can't christen him without, and, um, well, time's nearly up. Where have you put my shoes? Oh, why would I want your rancid old boot? Because you're a meddling old bag. Do not speak to your mother like that. Is it any wonder I have to keep doing deaf things to get you two to talk? Stop pretending you don't like each other and start giving him the life he deserves. Together. Well, fine as we are, Faith. Oh, what miserable is sin? Even the vicar's bailed. There is nothing to stop this working now. Yes, there is, that shift. Hey, I'm not going down for this. Sort him out, will you? I don't know what he's on about. You want to start explaining? We're at your meeting. Oh, so phones don't exist anymore now? Right, there was nothing you could have done. We didn't want to worry you. Look, I should have been around to support you. But you can't keep throwing your weight around like that. Doesn't help anybody, even if Ross is setting you up. I know. But I'm sorry you had to find out like this. You know it wasn't me, Mum, don't you? Of course she does, we all do. But it doesn't sound like they've got anything concrete, does it? I mean, this thing with the tires, it proves nothing, right? I mean, if that's all they've got. They haven't even got those. We'll see to that. There was Emma's DNA in his car as well. How come? We don't know. But you need to play it clever. Yeah, and I'm trying. Really? Cos, like your mum says, picking a fight with Ross isn't playing it clever. Cos now he knows exactly what you think. Yeah, I still can't believe you didn't tell me. Shouldn't you be taking eyes off me, mum? Don't dodge the issue, Kane. I need to know when things like this happen. I thought you could do without the stress. Oh, so I'm not stressed now that Adam's under suspicion for murder? It'll blow over. Oh, and you're sure about that, are you? They can't nick him for something he didn't do, something he's not capable of. What? I don't know what to say. I'm gutted for you. Look, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, just let me know, OK? All right, take care, love. Bye. Bye. Are you going to tell me any time soon? Tell you what? That Zach and Lisa are about to lose their flaming house. What are you doing down here? You should be up there helping them sort this. There's nothing I can do about it. I gave up on miracles years ago. Kane, the family is in crisis. Well? Do you mind? I'm busy. Yes, yes. Trying to find a home for you and Kyle when the rest of us can go to hell. Oh, that's all right. No, far from it, actually. The council wants to demolish Zach and Lisa's house, and this one, this one couldn't care less. And you know what? They want to build some stupid golf course and it'll affect the scrapyard. Not in a good way. It's not going to happen. I got a letter today. I'm going to get onto the council. See? Someone cares. They've been offered a shed load of cash. What more do they want? To stay in the home that they love. It's a dump. Why are you so fussed anyway? Because our dad is buried there. Our dad. He's not my dad. And what's going to happen to him, eh, when the bulldozers move in? I don't really care. Pauper's grave, slag heap. Kane, come on. No, no, leave it. This is the guy who doesn't even give a stuff about his newborn son. Or is it? Or is it just spending too much time with Moira might break your poor little heart? You finished? No, I barely even started. Look after this place. Why, where are you going? Away from that. And I'm going to see Moira later, so have you got any message for your youngest? Hmm? Hmm? No, no, I didn't think so. What are you doing here? Uh. Mum said you needed me to sign something for Isaac's christening tomorrow. What? No, why would you? Well, you tell me. Unless she's playing silly beggars. You still got to register the birth, remember? Preferably before the christening tomorrow. Not that Harriet is answering any of her calls. Oh. Maybe I should try. Oh, or maybe you should stop distracting yourself and just get on with it. Look, there's no way they'll find you. Not if you explain the circumstances. Find out for what? You have to register the birth within so many days or they've... Look, I, I just haven't got round to it, OK? Well, you're both here now, aren't you? So there's nothing to stop you, is there? Promise, I am not trying to put you on the... Where? Do you know where your baby boy is? None of my business. Well, it kind of is. Because if he's down to Moira, he'll be with Adam and Victoria. She's decided that she wants now to do with him. What? Finally, a reaction. So what are you going to do about it? 
Why do I have to do anything? Because he's your son. Oh, everyone keeps going about that. I don't want anything to do with him. If Moira doesn't either, then good luck to Adam and Victoria. Oh, you don't mean that. Isaac needs you. He needs somebody who can change him and feed him, and anyone can do that. Right, OK. So what about when he grows up and he finds out that that bloke down at the garage is his real dad but wanted nothing to do with him? What then? I grew up without my real dad. And look how you've turned out. Well, he'll get over it. Seriously? If you abandon that boy, I will never talk to you again. Suits me. You really are your mother's son, aren't you? to get out of here, I just... just for a little while. Charles might have bought all that. I'll be back in a few hours. Rubbish. But you knew. You knew, and you couldn't even be bothered to say goodbye. You were awake. Why didn't you... What? Try to stop you. Kid shouldn't have to beg his mother to stay. I couldn't stay to be his punching bag any longer. He would have killed me. And, um... Who do you think he laid into even more... when she'd gone? Kane! No, Dad, Look at what you've done now! Mom! Mom! Take your breath, Chelsea. She's gone. She had to get away from you with your non-stop whining and racket with this piece of That's junk. That's my mum going for Thinks me. I can get some money back off the thieving bent by pawning this. No, it's mine. <laughs> Treat me worse than any dog he's ever had. Gave me a kick in most days from then on. Let me for you going. I was the problem. We brought out the worst in each other and, and he never went after you unless I'd set him off first. So I thought if I was out of the picture, he wouldn't be so angry and... Uh, you'd be safer with me gone. Who were you kidding? Myself, myself, I had to. No point going over it now, though, eh? There is every point, because me running almost destroyed you and Chas. And if I'd have stayed and fought for you, fought for us, it would have made all the difference. I got it so wrong, Kane. You can't get it wrong, too. You leaving two defenceless kids with a violent drunk is nothing like me, not, not meddling with Moira and Isaac. Meddling is your son. I wish to goodness someone had meddled with me and Shadrach and tracked me down and pushed me back to you to stop me making the biggest mistake of my life. Because it is a mistake, Kane. You almost made it with Kyle, but you fixed it and you can fix it with Isaac too. No, I can't. Why not? What's different about Isaac? Except I know one word. Moira. Well, this is heartbreakingly cute. That's the story behind this little piggy. I'm not being part first. I can't do it. Well, so you're not even going to try. You just put yourself in your little boy's shoes. Growing up, his dad working in the garage, mother at the local farm, 
and neither of them wanting anything to do with him because they can't be bothered to suck up their own pain. A few years ago, um... Me and Moira were supposed to have a baby together. Yeah, Chas told me. And it didn't happen, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I must have been rough. Moira kept going. Without her. Having to raise Isaac on your own without her by your side, I get it, Kane. It's a killer, but that's real life. And if you quit, It'll still hurt, but it'll destroy you too. You'll be eaten up knowing you should have stuck it out and taken the pain. Take the pain. Or you will never be able to look yourself in the mirror without feeling sick with disgust. It's too late for me. But don't wreck Isaac's life because you're a coward. Mara. I'm not giving Isaac up. I don't have the strength to keep him. I do. Keen. Look, I, 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 know, I know you've said you, you need me to keep out of it, but... He's my son. And like it or not, I'm him. And I'm... Um, I can help take care of him. Until you can, until you're ready. What if that never happens? What if I can't get past it? Well, then I'll love him enough for the both of us. I love him. Of course I love him. I, I just can't be with him. Yet. Yet. I just know that when you are ready for Isaac, it won't be too late because he's got me. You'll always be his mum, always. No matter what. Nappies and bottles, everything's in there. And here is a bag of wipes. A whole bag just for today? <laughs> Trust me, mate, you're gonna need Are it. Are you sure you can handle this? I'm his dad. Well, no one would know that from the last few weeks, least of all this little one. Can we please stop raking over all of that? He's here now. Let's just focus on the future. And thank you. I'm sorry I've been such a burden. You've been through a heck of a shock. And we're all here just to make sure that you get better, right? Right. And we'll see Dr Cabinet later, yeah? Yeah, and don't go worrying about this one. He'll have me and Charles as backup, and Debbie's coming back as well, remember? Yeah, we'll all be there to help with the baby. Can you all stop making a fuss? I've got this, right? And you're taking over at tea time, aren't you? So I'll be back before you know it. Come on. See you later, little bro. Look after the big man, eh? And you just remember, if you get in a tiz, think about what I'd do, and then do the complete opposite. Right, come on, mate. In a sec, I'll get it. Oh. You know, Beck says the more expensive ones are better, the more absorbent, you know. The drier their bum is, the less screaming there is at the other end. Hey, did you watch match of the day? Oh, you going on about? Oh, it's nothing. Never mind. Never thought I'd hear you giving out parenting advice. Yeah, well, it's a learning curve. Seb's not. Give us a hand. Why? Because I'm a woman? I don't know any more about babies than you do, although, looks like you're a natural. Who knew? Well, I've got Chaz and my mum on standby, so... Well, so if you're not going to help, why are you here? I heard Moira was having a hard time, and I know she's got plenty of people around her, but... Who's looking out for you? I'm a big boy. Oh, come on, Kane, don't be like that. I still care. I'm just trying to be a mate. No, you're in do-good mode again. I can do without it. So why don't you go and patronise some other mug? Mate. It wasn't even my... Because if I don't pack, we'll actually be going anywhere, will I? OK. Come on. OK. Is everything all right? Uh, fine. Yeah, yeah, just... Uh... Well, you were right about those wipes. I, uh, 
I'm going to need some more baby blows as well, because I've been through all of his. Hold on. I'll get them. Oh, thanks, Adam. Thank you. How are you doing? I've just been to the doctors, and they're referring me to a counsellor. Although it might take a couple of weeks, so... I can pay for one if you like, you know, until your appointment comes through. The sooner you see someone, the better you'll feel. Listen, um, any time you need me, I'll be here. Thanks. But I'll be fine. You just focus on him, OK? I'll do, yeah. Right. Cheers. See ya. See you a bit. Oh, wow. Brother. Why is he so small? You were that small once, you know. So let you into a little secret. His bum is even smaller than yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, we're going to love him, right? We're going to be the best family that we can for him. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Good man. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they recognised that from somewhere. So I told them that uh, you were the thug that made the front page. Brenda, Zach is not a thug. No, I, I was just quoting the paper. Hurry up with them drinks, Carol. Dad, um, you couldn't just uh, hold him for me for a minute, would you? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, Harriet, you're still talking to me? The way you spoke to me before, all I really want to do is lump you, so maybe it's best if we just stay away from each other. I've got a lot on. You know what? We first day uh, dad duty in that. I shouldn't have got an argument with you before. I'm really sorry. So we can be mates, then? That's not really what I was thinking. Hey, how did it go? Oh, so this is it then? You sure I can't help? No, no, that's what I've got him for. Vic's got Isaac for a couple of hours so he can do all the heavy lifting. Oh, well, he definitely has his uses. Speaking of which, I've got a counsellor coming over later. So thanks for that. That's not a problem. Hope it goes well. I was just about to go to him. Well, I can, uh, I can go and settle him if you like. Oh, but no, he's the cavalry. <laughs> you uh, come to work your magic touch, have you? Oh, must have heard me come in. <laughs> well, Petit went here at two o'clock this morning, and then three, and then again at half past. <laughs> well, it'll get better. Oh, voice of an expert there. Right, well, I'll go and see if I can uh, make sure he's all right. Mind if I come too? Oh, I love them when they're sleeping. Oh, me too. Do you want me to take him? I can't cope. Sorry, it's just been a long night, that's all. Just me and Isaac. And Faith somehow managed to sleep straight through. Happy birthday, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Kyle. We're taking him to see the lights be switched on later, so... Thought you and Isaac might want to join us? Maybe next time. It's not as if he's going to remember it anyway. Well, you don't know that. Some things stick with you for life. Well, if you change your mind. Or you could take him if you want to. You know, doting dad with his boys. Sorry, that doesn't sound. I meant it. You've really come through for Kyle and Isaac. Seriously, why don't you take him? Well, you can take him now if you want to, I don't mind. It's up to you. We're just on our way up, now that uh, one star's finished with him. Oh, I couldn't resist a snuggle. It's no problem. He's been as good as gold. Oh, he really has. I think he likes pubs as much as his dad. <laughs> oh, my turn now, Myra. Sorry, you're just going to have to uh, make do with a drink instead. Ooh. It's, it's not so bad, is it? I'm glad you changed your mind anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Myra's. No, no, I'm the lab. Where? At the clinic. What clinic? It's got a checkup. You never said. Well, I'm saying now, it's just routine. Right. You got a problem with that? No, I would have. Because you're being a bit worried about it. No, I'm not. I think it's great that you're going together, and it'll give you two a chance to talk. About what? About how she is. I don't think she's coping. I tried to get her to open up yesterday, but I am the last person she wants to tell her problems to. Yeah, you and me both. Yeah, well, you can at least try. I'm not good at that kind of thing, am I? Oh, 
was exhausted. And she was busy working, not focused on Isaac. Maybe we should try and keep an eye on her again. Can you at least ask her if she slept last night? Right, yeah, I'll do my best. And while you're there, if you could mention Emma's funeral, I'd really appreciate it. You really shouldn't be doing that. She was my parishioner. Yeah, who killed loads of your other parishioners. Yeah, I'm not arguing with you. This is something I've got to do whether you like it or not, so can you please tell Moira? I think it's better coming from you. He's been feeding much better now. I can tell. He's put on weight, which is great. Sat like a baby last night. It's a weird saying that, because a lot of them don't. Well, I mean, I, I got up a couple of times to him, but, I mean, that's normal, right? Totally. Just got to check a couple of things. Thanks. Be back in a minute. Right. So everything all right? Mm. Harriet says she tried talking to you about stuff. Stuff? We well, you know baby stuff and that. Did she tell you that I left him home alone? Did you? No. It was only in the yard and he was asleep. Right. Well, I should have mentioned that. Oh, yeah. Did you sleep okay last night? It's just you look knackered. <laughs> you know, you two are just great for my confidence. Here. You take him. This is Dr. Hollins. You didn't say you were getting a doctor. Is there something wrong? I just want to examine Isaac, if you don't mind. Why, what's up? Well, let me just take a look at him, then we can talk. Mm. I knew there was something wrong. I failed to try to stay calm. It's easy for you to say. So what exactly are you checking for? Thank you. While the nurse was examining him, she heard a heart murmur. He's got a heart problem. Oh, it's not necessarily a problem. Can I just check that up to now, Isaac has seemed well? Of course he has. Does he ever have shortness of breath? No. No, he's healthy. Tell her. Is he feeding well? Yes. What's this got to do with his heart? Well, from what you've told me, there's no sign that whatever's causing his heart murmur is affecting his health. Right. So, so what happens now? We need to identify the cause. There are a number of possibilities. It may be an innocent murmur, in which case it'll just disappear as he grows older. OK, so, um, so there's nothing to worry about then? And once we know the cause, we'll work out the best way to treat it, if it needs treating at all. I'll refer him for an echocardiogram. It's not my fault. I drank while I was pregnant. You didn't know. There really is nothing to worry about. He has heart problems because of me. I knew this would happen. I shouldn't be anywhere near him. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, Moira! How did you get on at the clinic? Fine. I knew you would. Did, um, did Kay mention the funeral? No matter how people feel about Emma, it's my job to give her a dignified send-off. You understand that, don't you? Yeah, I really don't care. I have to go. Moira, you OK? Why does everyone keep asking me that? You're not going anywhere. Kane? I just need to talk to Moira. Can you look after Isaac? What's happened? I'll tell you later. I knew something like this was going to happen. I'm a terrible mother. He doesn't need me. He does need you. Look, Holly died because I didn't look after her properly. And now the same is happening with Isaac. Yeah, he didn't stop and listen to the doctor. He's not going to die. His heart will heal, and if it doesn't, they can fix it. It's not that serious. And you're not a terrible mother. You're a great mother. 
the best a kid could hope for. Sorry, I keep doing this. What's wrong with me? I let you into a little secret. I nearly cried myself. Now, that I haven't seen in a while. Are you sure he's going to be OK? Well, that's what the doctor said, and she's not going to lie, is she? You need to stop punishing yourself. You're not to blame for any of this. Look, he's going to wake up any minute, screaming for a feed. You need to get him back home, eh? Well, can't you keep him? Well, he needs his mum. Yeah, I know, but I've got loads to do, and I'll, I'll pick him up in a bit. Right? Thanks. I'm sorry to hear about that business with Isaac yesterday. Yeah, he's going to be OK. The doctor said it'll sort itself. Oh, well, that's one good thing. How's the protest? Oh, bleak. Zach's got a shocking cold. Yeah. I've come in to get him a bun to cheer him up. Well, I'm already on it, Lisa. He's phoned up, he's ordered a bacon, egg and sausage butter to go with it. Typical. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try and get up there later. Oh, yeah, me too. An old party, I'm well impressed. Oh, thanks, love. <laughs> Right, best get going. Are you, um, seeing Moira today? I wasn't intending to. Why? Just... Well, you didn't say much last night, how she was. Well, she's fine. Or at least she will be when the world gives her a break. <clears throat> uh, Kane, listen, I know it's short notice. Yeah, I'm, I'm working, I can't just... Well, Kane, please. I wouldn't be asking if I wasn't desperate, and Adam and Victoria, they've got their adoption meeting, so... What is it? Just want some sleep, that's all. Can you help? Thank you. I'll only be a couple of hours. Right. I'll drop him round later. Thanks. Well, Moira, she looks shocking. <laughs> yeah, fine. Everything's fine. Get what you needed. Sorry, what? Some kit. You still not knackered. Oh, fine. You sure? Yeah, I got a good hour or so. Listen, thanks for looking after him. Do you want to talk? No. All right. See you, mate. Thanks. I've let Adam down. Just like I let you down. And Isaac. He's only tiny in the things I've done already. All your kids are failures, aren't they? God, I wish that was me. How long? How long? I only got them yesterday. I haven't taken any yet. Yeah, right. This explains everything. I just wanted to sleep. That's it. In front of your daughter's grave with him, right there on his own. I told you it wasn't safe around me. I thought you were getting help. Moira. Just don't let him anywhere near me. Out, Kane. Mate, me. I was only going to take one pill. Only you had the whole lot with you. I wasn't going to kill myself. Well, you're just going to get off your face for a few hours. It's December. He's two months old. At least when you left him at the hospital, you gave him a fighting chance. I thought junkies weren't worth your time. Isn't this the part where you wash your hands? This isn't you. Well, it is now. I found Holly's phone. I got in touch with Simon, her dealer. He even offered me heroin. Why? 
Because he's a scumbag. Well, why are you doing this? I lost my daughter. I lost you. I had a baby I wasn't ready for. I'm, I'm not sleeping. I, I got depressed. No. No, no, this is... this is bigger than that. Otherwise, you wouldn't have let those pills into this house. If you don't tell me, I can't help you. I don't need your help. I was there, remember? I found you. What? The day Emma died, by the road. Hey. If something happened, you can talk to me. I passed out. That's all that happened. Sound asleep now. I'd never seen you like that before. Oh, childbirth tends to do that to you. Yeah. That's what I put it down to. At the time. I'm gonna get you back to the hospital. Yeah. And I'll come back for your car, okay? This is what happens when you check yourself out. Too tough for your own good, you. Come on. I can't have you dying on me, can I? I'm okay. I was exhausted and upset. You should take him, my child. Yeah. That makes sense. It must have been overwhelming when you found out he was safe. What doesn't make sense is why you told the police I was with you at the farm after you got that call. When I wasn't. You needed an alibi. You needed an alibi. I didn't need an alibi. I was protecting you. Uh, I didn't ask you to. Well, you're no saint, Cain, so I took a guess. Something's not been right since Emma died. I don't think it's grief or depression. It's guilt, isn't it? Your son needs feeding. Cop as a dad, but if it came down to it, I reckon there's not much I wouldn't do to keep him safe from someone like her. What if you already knew he was safe? What if you were so stupid that you gave her exactly what she wanted? Well, what did she want? Me, like this, broken. You're nowhere near broken. You're hard as nails, you. Come on. Talk to me. I don't think I can. Well, try me. I woke up in hospital. And they told me Isaac was gone. It was unbearable. It's funny, I, I never felt him before, then nothing was right without him there. You left. I came back here, put my gun. I wanted my baby back, whatever it took. But despite what she was saying, she was glad I was there. You were right, OK? It's too much of a sin. I can't do it. So let me go. OK. OK. I 
think the car's parked down the hill. It's not far. I knew I had to get back to the hospital, but she wouldn't move. Go on. I don't know how to describe it, but... she changed. I think that's when she decided. Decided to what? To use me. You were trying to kill him, weren't you? A beautiful little boy growing inside of you. Whoa. Oh, come on. You've had three kids. Do you really expect people to believe that you didn't know you were having another? You drank like a fish. Worked yourself into the ground because you were trying to get rid of my grandson, weren't you? Weren't you? <laughs> oh! It's okay. Why did I listen to her? I didn't know I was pregnant. Oh, you're lying. You were ignoring him. Just hoping that he would go away. And you left Finn to bleed to death in the woods. Shame I didn't shoot Adam. Shame Adam didn't shoot you first. Adam, your precious little love child. Infertile, thick as two short planks. Oh, God really knew what he was doing there. But then, all of your kids are failures, aren't they? Do you want to show up now? I mean, there's Hannah. She went away and never came back, and then Holly... Don't even say her name! Oh, well, what should we call her, then? The druggie? Someone else you ignored. Emma. Cain tells you that she won't stop using, but you don't listen. You knew that he was right deep down. But it was just easier to pretend that it wasn't happening, wasn't it? I'm not doing this. <sighs> Emma, please calm down. Imagine if you'd paid attention and actually noticed that there was something wrong with Holly the day that she died. If you'd just put that cup of tea down and cared enough to pull back the covers, she'd still be alive now, wouldn't she? You could have saved her, Moira, but you walked out. Left her to die, all on her own, with nobody there. And you knew that when you found her, didn't you? Lying there, cold. You knew that you, you killed her. You, you might as well have injected the hair yourself. <laughs> When something's perfect one moment and then ruined the next. And you almost think that you can undo it. Because for a second it was right there in one piece. But you can't. It's impossible. And it hurts. It physically hurts because you know you can't change it. <laughs> Emma blamed me for taking her husband, our boys, our life away from her. And so she found a way to take mine from me. <laughs> and it worked. I let her make me a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Please say something. She was raving. Pushing your buttons and... But they were only words. And now she's dead. Kane, you've got no idea what it's like to live with. 
the responsibility for someone dying. It was practically self-defence. Emma was off on one. She'd killed half of her family. She'd stolen your baby, our child. And why was that? Because I wasn't fit to raise him. You've got to get Emma's words out of your head because they're not true. It was just a, a spite-fueled rant. No, they came from somewhere real. She knew. That's why I couldn't get close to Isaac. That beautiful, precious little boy that we made. Because she was right about me. No. No, she wasn't. No. I knew it would only be a matter of time before I lost him, too. I was determined not to let him into my heart. I tried desperately to get someone else to take him. Give him a better life. A better mother. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what Emma wanted. She hoped you'd get caught and end up in prison. All alone, no family, racked with guilt. Living the life that she could never face. I can't face it either. I can't live with this. Emma said she wished she'd shot Adam. To think that he nearly died because James fathered him. I caused all of this, didn't I? She's right, I am a bad person. I've told you, you've got to get Emma's words out of your head. But she was speaking the truth, don't you see? That's why I'm trying to do the right thing by Isaac. Get him away from me. She wanted you to lose him. Like she lost her son because she shot him. She wants you to suffer. She wants you to suffer. You had everything that she didn't. A family, a, a new baby. A husband, if you'd wanted me. Not Holly, though. I can't get her back. You were amazing with Holly. And deep down, you know that. Come on, Warren. Don't let Emma win. And as for Isaac, I mean... No wonder you couldn't bond with him. You must have been terrified. The police were going to knock on that door at any moment, knowing full well that they would take him away from you. You've had to carry this and bottle it up. But it's different now because I'm here, right? And you can lean on me. If you want to talk, I, I will listen. You don't have to go through this on your own anymore. You don't have to deal with it anymore. I'm just not sure I can come back from this. <laughs> You've been in hell over what happened to Emma. And the shock of having eyes, I mean, you must have... Well, I I've not got postnatal depression. Don't even suggest that. No, I'm not. And I'm not some poor, innocent woman with suffering from some illness. I am like this because I can't live with the guilt of killing her. You know, I blame myself. I promised I'd be a good dad to Isaac now if I would have been here more I didn't than... want you here, Mr Fixer. Because I couldn't bear to see you look at me the way you're looking at me now. Like I'm a... I'm not. I'm not looking at you like... You need to stop going over it in your head because it's not going to change anything. I've tried, Kane, and I can't. And it's hurting him. And Isaac deserves proper mothering. What are you doing? We well, you know this isn't the first time. I mean, what kind of a mother dumps her own kid and walks away? <laughs> Emma Barton. No. The same kind who scores pills from the very dealer who supplied her dead daughter. 
If I'd have stepped up, you'd have never have gone to that dealer. Why are you making this about you? Because I failed you! Kane, I'm begging you. Take him. For his own good. You can stop falling, because I'm not going to take him. Was this for my sake or for yours? You've never liked small babies, have you? Too much bother. They stink, they cry, and yes, they do tie you down, but I'm sure you can pan them off to one of your family. Well, if I'm such a terrible father, why do you want me to look after him? Because you still do a better job of it than me. So... You just relived all this stuff. Kane, please. I mean it, I'm drowning here. This is what Emma wanted, for you to blame yourself, stuck in some kind of guilty purgatory like she was. But she must have suffered so badly after she killed James. And then Finn... It must have been unbearable for her. Why are you defending her? Because I know what it's like. I know what it's like to kill someone and be tortured by it. She knew he would haunt you. Don't let Emma win, please. You walk away from Isaac now, it will ruin his life and yours. He needs you. And I can tell that you love him. He just wants his mother. Let me help you. We can get through this. Together. Your mum's not well, so I'm looking after the baby. Are you all right? What's happened? I just saw Vic. It just made me realise how much I miss her. Well, you'll be all right. You two have managed to sort things out in the baths. Nah, it's different this time, Mum. It's over for good. And you know what? Ross did that to us. And I bet he's sat in the pub now laughing at me and my wrecked marriage. Uh, you, you know what? Might not make me feel any better, but I'm gonna wipe a smug little grin off his face. Adam, he's right. Stay away from him. Adam! Adam! I'm telling you, he killed his own mum and he wants me to go down for it. I told you! He's out to get me and he ain't giving up. Then I'll stop him because I know the truth of it. Moira. What? Moira, stop. She knows nothing. Well, he's ruined my life and he's not getting away with it. I'm telling you, I'm gonna beat the truth out of him. You can, because he didn't do it. Get inside, He now. needs to know! It was me, son. I killed him. I tried so hard to rise above it. But Emma started on about you and then Holly. It was vicious. And now people think you did it. Ross, your own wife, for pity's sake. And that D.S. Benton, he's convinced it's you and he won't give up until you're behind bars. Come on, it's going to be all right. Right, you can see she's in a bad way. You need to go now. Now, I am not watching him going down for this. I'm going to go to the police and I'm going to tell them the truth right now. Don't be stupid. You can't do that. You're not going anywhere. Let me go. I'm not going to let them put this on, Adam. Let go of me. Come on, stop. Get off me. Mum, you can't go to the police. They're clueless. Right, why would you want to do that? To spare you and finally have some peace. And maybe not feel so suffocated with all this guilt. Oh, yeah, you will. You will. Only you'll be in a cell with 24 hours a day to think about it. I'm going. What if he won't give up? He keeps on coming for you. 
I'll be fine. The police have got nothing on me. Hey. Let me finish up. You must be freezing. Why don't you go inside? Isaac could be missing you. Yeah. He's got to get used to not having me around. Well, you're not going anywhere. I have spent months trying to bury what I did, wishing that I could tell somebody. Well, it's good that you have, because I can help now. No, Cain. The guilt's always going to be there, in my stomach. And I know now it's just going to get worse. Some post arrived at home and I thought it could be important. Thank you. Suppose you heard about the police questioning Laurel yesterday. What for? I still don't know who killed Emma. Should have sent them your way. You could have put them straight, couldn't you? Thought you might have calmed down. I shouldn't have come. Adam, don't let this ruin your life too. Mum, why don't you uh, go and check she's okay now? Take her for a brew or something. Do I look like Jeremy Kyle? Somebody'll tell me what's going on. Please, Adam, she's your wife. Yeah. It's a great basis for marriage, that, isn't it? Her thinking I'm some kind of murdering nut job. So tell her the truth. I can't live with you losing everything because of something I've done. I need to be punished, not you, or Laurel, or anyone else. All you've done is what Emma asked for. And the sooner you realise that, the easier this will get. Adam, have you seen your mum? Um, no, I thought she was with you. Right. Stay here and keep her away from them. Call me if you see her. I don't think she's... She's parked outside. I don't think I'm going to kill her. I figured you were looking for her. Yeah, thanks for calling. Listen, um... I'm sorry, I, I just had a lot on. She's, um... She's not in a good place. Well, you know, it's, it's that time of year, isn't it? No, this is about Emma. What about her? She seems really hung up on who could have killed her. It's like she's worried about them. She wasn't making much sense, but... Do you think she knows something? I'll talk to her. Look, I know it's difficult, but... You and Moira, I'm finding it really... Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. You've seen how she is. I mean, I promise it won't always be like this. Kane, if Moira says something, anything, you've got to get her to talk to the police. I'd be thinking. Well, I couldn't think with you suffocating me. And has it helped? Has it made you see that Emma isn't worth risking all this for? He needs you, Moira. We both do. I sat in the police station for hours. Where was Moira? She was probably up all night getting a solicitor, Vic. There was no way you could have done it. I mean, you'd know, wouldn't you? Somebody you loved that much had killed someone. Yeah. Yeah, you would. Right, um, I've got stuff to do. Come on, Vic, let's just... Go back to work and act as normal, yeah? It'll be fine. Come on. Yeah, I'm there. You start the car, see the toilet. Please, will you tell him that? I'm sorry, I doubt it, Adam. Yeah. Has this got something to do with us burying those tyres? No. 
It's because he's not got an alibi. Well, then we need to get him on, especially seeing as your face says he might have done it. Shut your mouth, right? Just stay calm. And you make sure Victoria stays away from here. Guess what I found? <sighs> yes, I understand what a custody extension is. What time can we fetch him tomorrow? You took my phone, didn't you? He's going to think that I've dropped him in it. Well, I couldn't risk you ringing the police station every five minutes, could I? It's been 24 hours now. You're going to make it worse. Let me tell the police what happened. I want this over. Yeah, we've all lied. We're all in it now. All Adam's got to do is sit tight, say nothing, and he'll be fine. Why do you know? Because he didn't do it. <sighs> Where's Faith? Oh, he's gone away for a few days. I mean, come on, let's face it, we're not exactly good company at the moment, are we? You let me know the minute he gets out. I can't believe I slept all night. When did they let Adam out? Because he's not answering his phone. Aaron's been on, um, picked him up and they stopped the night in Leeds. <sighs> Must be livid with me. No, no, he isn't. I need to track him down. Well, we've got no formula left, so uh, unless you plan on taking Isaac with you. He needs to let off some steam, just leave him be. Well, I want to speak to him the second he gets in touch. Moira has going until I've seen her. Well, she's not well. And if you wake the baby... Moira! Adam will be out tomorrow. I don't want her upsetting. God's sake, big mouth. Is Adam not with you? Get out. Adam's still at the police station. They've extended Brilliant. his custody. Brilliant. Thanks for that. I knew you were lying. I had to do it. I'm his mother. You're Isaac's mother too, and he needs feeding. You can't. Move. Moira, just feed the baby. Why are you making me choose? Adam isn't helpless. Isaac is. There's no formula in him. What are you going to do? Just let him scream? Just feed him first. No. Just do it, will you? You know, you got rid of your mum, you took my phone, but when I am done here, I'm going to go straight to the police station and tell them that I killed Emma. And you're going to have to kill me to stop me! Kane! I heard you. Yeah. And he's changing. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Well, this isn't going well. Right. Just just keep it together. Hey. They keep asking the same thing over and over again. Let me talk to him. Tell him I'm coming. Your mother wants to come to the station. Kane! Hey, hey, look, has uh, is Vic said anything? You were finished. What do you expect? Yeah, but she didn't know I did it. Look, never mind, Victoria. You know what people are like? She does, don't she? I know, she thought before she's gonna think it now, right? Adam, whatever he says, he's lying! Is that my mum? What was she saying? She's saying that I'm a liar, and you know what? She's right. But this Can is the truth please, of it, okay? Let me talk to him, please! It, it's not looking good. We can't give you an alibi. You, your mum. She wouldn't be able to cope where you are, do you understand? But I, I, I didn't do it. We haven't got an alibi. Your mum wouldn't survive. Look, we've been through this. Don't let her down. Do the right thing. Kane! Kane! You like right, me? Kane! Kane! You're gonna wake him up! Then let me out! In a bit. No! Or I swear I'll never forgive you. But they could be charging him right now. Don't let this happen. It's not right! No one is getting charged. Trust me.
Weren't sure whether to expect you after what's happened. Yeah, well, I'm all mended now. I'm not talking about you, Ed. You've had enough mileage out of that. I'm talking about Adam. Well, still there's work to do. Besides, it's not Mara's fault, is it? No, no, it isn't. Where are you going? I'm just getting the rotor. I've no idea who's working where. Well, I'll get it. Well, you're all right. I need to speak to her anyway. Well, talk to me. Well, she's the boss, you're not. Well, she'll know where I need to put the temps. I'm telling you to leave her alone. Well, leave her alone? What are you, a mind, though? Look, if you think I've come round here to have a goal, then you're wrong. <laughs> Don't be stupid. She's in a state, that's all. I didn't expect her to fall apart like this. She's been up the whole night and she, she's only just got to sleep, so. Okay. But I still need that rotor. Brew won't go on this either. Mara. See if you still think that when Adam's home tomorrow. <laughs> then you can do what you want. Ken! <sighs> Let's see what Mummy's doing. Come on. Moira? Moira? What now, eh? What now? Hi, Moira. Hi. Hey. I thought I'd check on Moira, see how she is. Saw your car was outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm just helping out, so. Uh... It's okay. There's a time and place for jealous girlfriend, and this isn't it. Oh, where is she? She's asleep, so. Uh... Get along, wake her up. What is it you're not telling me? She must have still had the keys on. This isn't rational behaviour. Look after Isaac for me, will you? You don't even know where she's gone. Could you do this one thing for me? Hello? Hello? Do you know where Detective Sergeant Benton is? No offend. Can I help you? Well, can't you call him or something? I need to see him. Why don't you tell me what it's about? And we'll see if we need to find him. I need to confess to a murder. I killed someone. I killed Emma Barton. Now, can you get DS Benton? Not another dingle making a voluntary visit to the station. Thought I'd seen everything. You're gonna go in there and Maury's gonna talk a load of nonsense. Trust me, she'll, she'll say anything to get Adam home. Okay. I can't stop her making a statement. She's been seeing someone, a, a counsellor. She tried to give the baby away. I don't think she's got over what happened to Holly, her daughter. And things have just got worse since the baby came along. I'm telling you, she will say anything. Understood. We'll go easy on Please. We'll do our job, Mr. Dingle. Like we always do. Harry, it's me. Listen, I'm gonna come over as soon as I'm done here, all right? Hey. Oh, can you hold on to him for a bit longer? Where are you going? Well, in case you've forgotten, Adam's been charged with killing Emma. So I'm going to go back and tell them the truth again and make sure they believe me this time. Hey, he took the rap to protect you. I didn't ask him to. And I'm certainly not going to let him rot in prison when I'm the one who actually did it. Look, Emma deserved it. 
She was a killer. Finn, James, she ruined lives. Yeah, including Adams, if he goes through with this. They believe Adam. It's not going to change his statement. And do you know why? Did you know he was going to do it? No. Of course I didn't. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk him out of it. What if you can't? Try and stop me. I dare you. And it won't be like the last time. Maybe, um, Adam is trying to return the favour. You know, because you looked out for him for his whole life. Protecting him is my job. That's what parents do. It no. never ends. What about him? You're his dad. You look after him. Wow. You and me in the same space. Let's see how long that lasts. Sorry. So? What? Look, I know it wasn't a good time to ask yesterday. Moy was in a state and you didn't say much when he got back. I know something's wrong, so... What's going on? It's complicated. Well, that's it. It's complicated. Was she trying to cover up for him? I'm not an idiot, Kane, so I'm going to ask you this once, and please, don't lie to me. I'm OK? I want you to go. Right. Still angry, then. You told him to do it. What? It was your idea. You put it in his head. And then you lied to me. No. No, it wasn't that. This is all your fault. Get out. Listen. In the end, Adam's on the right thing. Get out. Or so help me God, Adam, me both will be in prison for murder. Yeah. You don't hear Harriet complaining? Oh, I'm used to it. It sort of comes with the job. That's why I need to make the most of today. Yeah, Christmas is not over yet. There we are, see? You just have to be gentle. <laughs> Go on out. Oh, if you're going to see Isaac, his presents are in that bag by the door. Look, uh, I'll come with you, if you're worried. Why would I be worried? Well, Maura's going to be all over the place about Adam. She's not exactly going to be full of Christmas cheer, is she? A bit of backup might help. Well, it's nothing to do with me. It's not your fault, love. It's been like that all day. I thought I told you to stay away from me. I heard she went to see Adam. Oh, what's up? Are you scared that she might make him see how stupid this is? Well, unfortunately not. He knows what he's doing. Oh, well, I'm glad you think so. Because we both know it should be me in prison, not Adam. Everything OK? That looked a bit, uh, intense. <sighs> don't know about you, but, uh, fancy a drink, come on. My turn. Oh, sorry. Brilliant. Nice kick. Look, I tried not to think about it last night, but I can't ignore what I heard. I need to know what's going on with you and Moira. <sighs> not this again. What was she talking about yesterday? Well? Dad! Yeah, I'm just coming. We both know it should be me in prison, not Adam. Her exact words, Kane. I want the truth. Did Moira kill Emma? Can I get you anything else? What? Oh, uh, sorry, Brenda, I was miles away. No, thank you. 
that thing with Zach and the receipts. Yeah? I suppose we can give him one. But if there's any comeback, it's down to you. Thank you. Where are the kids? Over at Arthur's. They'll be sailing the seven seas on Ashley's ship. Right, well, they need telling. You can't put it off any longer. Well, it'll break their hearts, Brenda. They adore you. Don't you dare kill trip me. You're the one who had the fling. You're the reason we're splitting up. And those kids need to know what sort of man you really are. Please. You didn't kill Emma. She's just lashing out. She doesn't know what she's saying half the time. She seemed pretty clear to me. She's just had a kid she didn't know existed. Then everything with Emma and Finn... You've no idea how bad things have got. So tell me. Maybe I can help. She dumped Isaac at the hospital, then tried giving him away to Adam and Victoria. It's like she hated being anywhere near him. You know she's been seeing a counsellor, but she's really struggling. Can't believe a word she says. Can you... How are you doing? Is there anything I can help with? Unless you can persuade Adam to let me visit. I suppose he thinks he's protecting me. It should be the other way around. I miss him. Me too. How are you coping? I know how rough things have been. I'm OK. I spent a bit of time with Seb earlier, which helped take my mind off stuff. I guess I've got to start getting used to life without Adam. Still can't believe that he did it. Don't hate him. He's a good man. I'm sorry, Maya, I've got to get back. Yeah, of course. And, and don't you worry about me, I'll be fine. I reckon, I reckon you are the best thing to have happened to him in a long, long time. You, young man, are an absolute angel. Yeah, there's plenty out there who'd beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I hate to say it. Reckon you're punching above your weight here. Right, if she flirts with you, run for the hills. <laughs> I think you've got yourself a good one. Well, that sounds so surprised. I've got some taste, you know. Well, anyone who makes you happy gets my ball. You are, aren't you? Happy. You know what I reckon I am, yeah? Are you proper in love? Oh, give over. Ah, you're blushing! Yeah, because like a right saddle, I'm talking to me more about my love life. Hi, how are you doing? You have no idea. Can I have a word? Yeah, sit down. No, not here. Somewhere more private, if you don't mind. Who knows what was going on in Emma's sick mind, apart from wanting Maury to suffer even after she died. If you go to the police, then Emma wins. And if I don't... This goes against everything I believe in. She's dead. Nothing's going to change that. Seriously? That's the best you've got? If you want to help Moira, why don't you do us all a favour and back off? Let me make my own decisions. Everything will be OK, I promise. All right, you let me in now instead of locking me out last night. Trust me, you're the last person I wanted to see. But now I'm ready to face whatever happens. Well, I wouldn't get carried away. I just saw Harriet and she hasn't gone to the police. She will. There's no way she can have this on her conscience. So, what, they just let Adam out just like that? I killed Emma. Why should Adam have to suffer because of me? And you think telling Harriet is going to change that? Why not? She used to be a detective. Well, no, she's telling the truth. Adam lied. Have you any idea how long he could get for that? 
All you've done is risk putting you both inside. You think you're so clever, don't you? You've got it all worked out. I just carry on with my life while Adam rots. He won't even see me. And why do you think he's doing that? He wants you to think about Isaac. He needs you. Adam is doing this for him as well. Well, that's not his choice to make. Nor yours, for that matter. You lost the right to have a say in my life a long time ago. Well, tough. Because I'm part of this now. So if I were you, I'd get used to it. I know. So instead of locking me up this time, you're going to stand guard, is that it? Can you blame me when you can't keep your mouth shut? Tell the truth, you mean? Like I should have done in the first place. Adam walked into this with his eyes open. He did this for you, and I respect that. Great. Well, that's OK, then. I'll get straight down to the prison now and be sure to give him a big hug, shall I? Oh, no, but I can't, because he won't even see me. You've got no idea what I'm going through, Kane, so don't even try to understand. Just can't keep away, can you? So what's the next big idea? You go on the run together? Mm, I'm not going anywhere. And believe me, there's nothing together about this. Apart from perverting the course of justice. I need to know what you're going to do. I'm ready to take the consequences for my actions. Then you can start at the beginning. I want to know everything that happened. In your own words. I begged her. She was ranting on about what a horrible person I was. Horrible mother. Said I could have saved Holly if I cared enough. She wasn't well. Ah, she hated me so much. And I knew what she was doing, but she just wouldn't stop. And I lashed out. Yeah, anyone would have. She was raving mad. You know what she was like. Will you listen to yourselves? She was ill. Yeah, and it was horrible for her and everybody else. But this was an accident. Maury didn't mean to hurt anyone. If it's all so innocent, why don't you tell the truth? I've tried. They won't believe me. But you can tell them. They'll listen to you. Don't listen to her. Going to the police isn't going to help anyone. Adam will still be inside for perverting the course of justice. Excuse me. What about Pete and Ross? They deserve the truth. Why? What's that going to do? It's not going to bring the mother back, is it? He'll just be destroying more lives, keeping Isaac away from his family, putting us all inside. If you've got any feelings for me, you'll keep your mouth shut. I can't believe you just said that to me. Harriet. Shut up, Cain! Don't make things any worse. Is your phone run out of juice or is it just me you don't want to talk to? Just you. I should never have said that. I wasn't trying to... What? Emotionally blackmail me? That's exactly what you were trying to do. Is there anything you wouldn't do for her? Look, I'm sorry, OK, for all the lies, but I was just trying to put a lid on all this mess. There's no point in making it any worse, is there? You've seen the state of Maura. She's just about hanging on. She never intended to hurt anyone. And what's done is done. And her son's in prison. And there's two boys up there who don't know the truth about how their mum died. Well, the truth's overrated, isn't it? Does more harm than good sometimes. You know what's at stake? Yeah. My immortal soul, for one. So you're just going to ruin people's lives? Moira, Isaac, mine. I don't want to lose you. Right. So let's bury this. It's the only way.
I do want to make it up to you. Good, because you need to. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that I'm taking Isaac for that echo scan on his heart. Well, it's, it's going to be fine. The doctor said not to worry, so... Do you want me to come with him? No, 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 no. There's no need for you to come. I'll let you know how it goes. OK. <laughs> How did it go? Oh, uh, good. Doctor said he's doing well, but I need to take him back in six months. But hopefully the hole in his heart will have healed by itself before then. See, I told you it'd be okay. How was Adam? Uh, fine. How did he look? Better than I expected. Um, he seems to be holding up well. Are you sure? Because Vic said the same thing after she visited him. He didn't cope well the last time he was in prison. You are being honest with me. Yeah, of course I am. Oh, did he say anything else? Uh, yeah, he's, um, he's pleaded guilty to manslaughter. Which, it could be a good thing, you know, he might only get two to eight years. Or he could go down for life. Excuse me, I'll, I'll see you later. Did he really look OK? You made me promise that's what I tell her, right? Mm -hmm. So we all play along, yeah? How many more lies are you going to drag me into? Excuse me. All right, Sam, how did it go? Oh, only good thing was that the filth didn't arrest me dad. <laughs>